I was so jazzed about coming and doing Just for Laughs and seeing my family and stuff that I got distracted on my drive and I actually ran over something and it got stuck in my wheel well and my car started going like ka-dink, 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 you know when that happens and I was like, oh my God, what have I done? And I get out of my car and I look at my wheel well and it turns out I ran over a, oh, what are they called? Um, a smart car. Don't worry though, the tiny little people inside were fine. Just really angry and dizzy. <laughs> I had the amazing honor of uh, doing four weeks of comedy in South Africa a while back. The day I left for the airport, I took my dog out for a walk and he got his ear bit by another dog and it just started spurting blood from this weird ear vein. And he was fine, he couldn't feel it, but I got all freaked out and I ran him home and he gets in the front door and he's shaking his head and blood's going everywhere. And I said to my husband, you gotta take him to the vet, I have to go to the airport. So he takes the dog to the vet, I go to the airport, he brings the dog home, puts him upstairs and wipes, starts wiping all the blood off the walls just as our new neighbor came over to introduce herself to us. <laughs> He had to say his wife went away for a few weeks. <laughs> oh, where'd she go? Oh, she went to Africa to do comedy. <laughs> Happens all the time. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I celebrated a birthday recently, and I'm a lady in my mid-30s, and me and my girlfriends decided it would be a really good idea to celebrate my birthday at a dance club we used to go to when we were 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was such a bad idea. This guy came up to me that night and he uh, laid a line upon me or a pickup line or whatever. And apparently it's very popular and quite vulgar, but all it did was confuse me. And uh, he comes up and he was all, I had my hair done that night. I was all proud of myself. And he was like, hey lady, can I ask you a question? And I was like, yes. And he goes, do your drapes match your carpet? Okay, some of you know what that means. I had no idea. I just got confused. I was all, what? And he goes, I said, do your drapes match your carpet? And I just went, um, I don't have any carpet. <laughs> I don't know. And he was like, oh, you're one of those. <laughs> and I was like, yes. I prefer the feeling of hard wood under my foot. That's just, that's what I like, I mean. I used to have a carpet, but I had my neighbor come over and rip it out. Uh, it, was, it was filthy, it had red wine stains, the cat peed on it. Oh, it was, ugh, had to go, it was a P.U., get rid of it. But then my night took a turn for the worse because I got home and uh, as I said, I'm in my mid-30s and that's the point in a woman's life where the, the landscape starts shifting, right? And so I decided my gift to myself would be to work on my inner supermodel and not worry about what's happening with my body. So I go to bed and I was lying there and I was all inner supermodel, I'm Giselle inside, inner supermodel, just about to fall asleep. My husband gets into bed and starts doing this. Bah, 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 bah. And it felt really weird and I was like, stop that, that feels weird. I swear to God, he goes, I'm just trying to rub your back, baby. birthday to me. <laughs> oh man, I was so drunk that night too. Woo, I partied that night. And I don't usually, the only time I ever really party hardy is at uh, birthdays and functions like that or my husband's work functions. That's the only time. Because when it's a work function, it's free booze, right? And I don't work where my husband works. So I'm like, who cares? <laughs> and I'm a frugal Scotswoman, so I consider free booze a giant sale that must be taken advantage of. <laughs> And the last time I did it, my husband was so mad that he wasn't talking to me the next day, but he sent me an angry email from a self-help website called How to Be a Master Mingler. And it had a bunch of pieces of advice for people like me who don't know how to act properly. The first one was this. Upon arriving to the party, scan the party layout for that way you can politely excuse yourself to use the restroom or refill your drink without breaking eye contact. Does that not sound kind of creepy to you, you know? Oh, Gary, it's been really great talking to you, but I've just got to go to the bathroom, Gary. <laughs> Leave that door open. Don't look away, Gary. Gary, I will kill you, Gary. I will kill you. <laughs> you have been so much fun. Thank you so much, Montreal. Good night.